In this module, we look how to do UV art photography, UV reflected photography. So basically, this one is a photo into the UV range. So, last picture was taken uh, with the visible filter. We do now apply the UV filter. The filter goes inside the camera. We can turn on the live view on the, the camera. Okay, we put the UV filter on the camera and now the image on the computer is uh, dark. We need a source of UV. So we can turn on our UV lamp. There it is. Okay, you see now the UV lamp is on and uh, in the image we start to see something. Uh, first observation, uh, when we do UV R photography, it doesn't matter if there are other sources of light uh, in the environment, like for example these LEDs in the ceiling. Uh, it's not a problem because the camera can only see uh, can only see UV radiation, okay? Because it has the UV filter on the lens. Uh, when we do UV R photography, the position of the lamp is important because uh, uh, such as for a visible light, we have here glare and reflection. So as we see here in the monitor, uh, the image has a lot of reflection because the lamp is a uh, very like 90 degree, so we want to put the lamp aside. So, for example, here it's at 30, 30 degree, and you see now we have removed uh, the uh, the glare from the lamp. Okay, we can find a better position, maybe a little bit more illumination. Okay. So right now we are doing a UVR with just one lamp for simplicity, but generally what you want to do is you want to have two lamps, one on the left and one on the right, such as we do uh, when uh, we are doing a visible photo. Okay, so now we go on the, on the computer and uh, we need to focus. So first observation is that um, when we move from visible to UV, we need to check the focus. So now we want to magnify. So this one is out of focus. We move over here, no. Okay, so this one is, uh, is the best. Um, okay, now the image is on focus. And we can actually take this uh, capture. Oh, there it is. You can turn off the lamp. Of course, we don't want to use lamp if we don't need the UV radiation. Um, let's go to the uh, editing of the image. So we close the live view and the image uh, is a save here in the folder images. Let's rename it immediately UVR. Then we go here in a row therapy, we go in the file browser, we have the UVR photo, there it is. Okay, so you see the image is uh, pretty sharp. Um, so the only editing we need to do is to go here in the processing profiles, click my profiles and choose black and white. So basically we want to have this uh, uh, image in the black and white because basically black and white uh, gray tones is what the human eye can distinguish better. So instead of that course, 
uh, using the black and white is much better. Okay. Okay, so the image is pretty nice, it's on focus, exposure, exposure also is, uh, uh, is good. So what we do is uh, we can already export the image. We can move here from the navigation tool to see if there is anything of interest. Um, okay, let's uh, go on the gears to export the image. So we see Q, we have a one. Uh, and the image will be transferred into our temp folder. And there it is, UVR image. Um, okay, so uh, this is all about taking and editing the UVR image.